What's up YouTube? Sean here with an update on Project Nano. So, um, I did some work last night. Actually, been working the last couple days slaving away on this sump for uh, Project Natural. Uh, as mentioned before in previous videos, Petco had their dollar per gallon sale this past week. So I took advantage of that. I also had a $5 uh, discount and I applied it to the aquarium which uh, cost me five bucks. I then went over to uh, Glass and Mirror Services of Frederick, Maryland and they cut me some baffles. Uh, they did a great job. They even gave me nibs on the bottom so it fit over the silicone and uh, that cost me about 28 bucks to get quarter inch glass uh, cut to, to size. Um, I did four baffles and the first baffle was uh, 10 inches in order to um, accommodate the Aquamax WS1 skimmer which I'm going to show you uh, in a second. So this is a Mr. Aqua chick. It's 11.4 uh, gallons and the, uh, the 10 gallon sump is going to give me more water volume, better water stability, uh, water change, uh, flexibility, uh, a refugium, uh, and most importantly, a, a very nice skimmer uh, will be sitting in this sump uh, to give me some nice skimmate out of here, um, which is very important for uh, water quality. So let me show you a little bit about the aquarium. So Project Natural has a couple residents in it. The two that you'll see are some Ocelaris clowns and they do have an anemone in the back there. It's actually one half of the anemone that was, or actually resides in Project Fowler. That one's very big and healthy. This one's a little bit smaller. This is a smaller piece. Let me, uh, Tune the lights up so you can see it a little bit better. So you can see the anemone down there. And you can see that both clowns are paired to it. They're also paired with each other. So what I got going on here is I got a uh, real good deal on an overflow box. It's a eShops PF300. Unfortunately, the guy that had it before me decided that he wanted to extend uh, the teeth down. So um, I'm not sure what he was going for here. Uh, but what it did was it uh, kind of gave me a very low water level. So to compensate right now, this is a temporary solution. Um, I've got the, the box sitting up on the, the screw. You know, I like to patent stuff and that's a temporary patent, but I do want to um, do something a little bit more permanent by cutting uh, some acrylic to uh, bring those teeth back up to the original size. Another option is to maybe just replace it with the um, eShops Nano box. That's gonna give me a smaller diameter on the overflow, uh, but I'd be willing to maybe you know go with that because that's gonna give me a smaller footprint in the aquarium as well. So Project Natural, if you've been watching uh, the series, is lit by the uh, Kessel A80. I first saw the Kessel A80 on one of CJ's Aquarium's uh, videos. And um, I think Miss Average Reefer also has this light. So I saw it in one of her videos too. And it's a very beautiful light as you can see. So uh, let me show you the sump. So what we're looking at here is the Aquamax WS1 skimmer. It's sitting at 10 inches, uh, which is the appropriate depth uh, for it to work properly. Uh, the cup is adjustable on this thing, so you can move it up and down. Uh, I'm gonna run the overflow into the um, sump right now until I get the correct color. Uh, then I'll start collecting it. So I'm going to zoom in underneath so you can see what's going on. My original plan was to 
uh, mount this sump on this bottom shelf. Uh, but I was in the reef talk last night and um, you know some of my friends in there talked me off the ledge because that could lead to a lot of problems. Number one, not being able to maintain it very well. Uh, number two, um, I don't know, it, the, the cabinet could handle all this um, additional weight. So I decided to go ahead and lay it on a floor. Um, I did a power outage test on it just to see um, what the overflow would look like. And um, we can go ahead and do that now um, just so you see how capable these eShop overflow boxes are. So in the refugium, I've got some live sand that I took out of the aquarium. I've got some uh, live rock rubble. Um, you can't really see it from this angle. And I've got some chato uh, sitting in the basket. I got this basket for $1.80 over at Big Lots. I cut the handle off and squeezed it right in there. You can see my plumbing come down. I got a ball valve to cut the uh, overflow off if necessary. And right now I'm just using a uh, cheap uh, white LED light with some blues on it. Uh, but I intend on using a grow light um, with an attachable arm um, on this particular refugium. So I did the patented uh, media tray if you see one, saw one of the early videos. Um, so what I've got here is a layer of uh, filter floss, a layer of carbon, three bags of carbon, and then another layer of filter floss. So that's going to be um, my mechanical filtration. And in the last uh, chamber we have a Rio 800, uh, which is capable of 200 gallons per hour. So with the 22 gallons of volume, there are about 20 to 22 volumes of um, volume, we've got a 10 times turnover rate. A little bit better than that, so that's perfect. <clears throat> and in the aquarium, I've got the uh, overflow uh, return coming back in. Um, and I've got a hot air Corellia 240 GPH powerhead, uh, just kind of blowing the water sideways to uh, get the um, detritus, the excess food into the overflow, get it out of the aquarium. And I've got three pieces of live rock in here. I've got some Asterina snails, I've got some uh, hermit crabs, and there is a reef lobster in here, believe it or not. He's hiding right now underneath uh, one of the live rock. So I'll give you a top down view of what's going on in the sump. I've got a 50 watt uh, cobalt neotherm heater. These are real nice, they're accurate. It's flashing right now because the temperature in the room is a little bit warmer than the desired temperature, so it's just warning me of that. Uh, it's probably about 74 degrees right now. I got the heater turned down, turned down to 72 simply because it's the summer months here in Maryland and uh, it gets about 80, 90 degrees in here. All right, my phone keeps overheating, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, throw this together, get it uploaded for your enjoyment on Easter Monday and I'll just go ahead and give you a real quick tour of some of the uh, corals I got in here I got some uh, zoas scattered throughout and I've got some uh, star polyps on the rocks there and I've got a big ass aptasia that I need to throw my fish in here uh, to, to chomp down on so um, I'll probably be doing that here shortly because uh, that file fish that I got in my uh, project cubal is pretty sick he uh, he loves eating aptasia so anyhow thanks for watching my video please click on the clownfish to subscribe to my channel